Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting brain teaser series. So before going to the question, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond back. So the question is to swap the data of A and B registers. So we need to swap the data of A and B in this circuit. So this circuit consists of multiplexers, logic gates and registers. So everything is arranged in this manner. And all you need to do is choose the value of logic select and load. By choosing the logic select value, you can perform any of the logical operations like XOR gate, AND gate and others. And by choosing the load value, you can load the data of output of the multiplexer back to the A or B. So if you choose load A, so the output will be loaded back into A or you can load into B. Here we have N clock cycles try to reduce it as much as possible and get the best results by choosing the correct values of logic select and load in minimum clock cycles mm -hmm. so this is the question for you and the ball is in your coat please try and i'll be back after 10 seconds welcome back i hope you figured out the solution so if you haven't tried, please give few more tries before watching the solution. The solution is I will select XR in every clock cycle. So this is a simple statement solution. So to get some more understanding, let's first go for XR truth table. So here, as you can see, the XR has two inputs, A and B and output. So whenever A and B are zero, the output is 0. When A is 0, B is 1, output is 1. When A is 1, B is 0, the output is 1. And when both are 1, the output is 0. If you observe this truth table clearly, we can get two points out of it. So the first point is, anything XOR itself is always 0. So A XOR A is always 0. And next thing is, anything XOR with 0 is itself. That is, A XOR 0 is equals to a so by using this two observations we are gonna swap the data of a and b registers so to analyze this let's go back to the circuit so in the first clock cycle the logic select will be xor gate and the load value i will load into a so the output of the multiplexer will be a xor b which will be loaded into the register a and b will have the previous value so it is b so in the second clock cycle, I will again perform XOR operation. Now the output is A XOR B XOR B. Now I will load the output of the multiplexer into B. So B is now A XOR B XOR B. From our previous observations, we can say that B XOR B is zero and which in turn is XOR with A. So the output will be A. So now the B register has the content of A. In A we have A XOR B and in B we have A. Again in next clock cycle also I'm going to perform the XOR operation between the data of A and B. Now we will load the data of multiplexer into A and B will be the previous value. So now A is A XOR B XOR A. As you know from the previous observations A XOR A is 0. And now 0 XOR B is B. So now the register A has B values and register B has A value. So this is how we swap the data from A register to B register using XOR gate in three cycles. If you have any other ways, please comment down below. It will be helpful for others. So before leaving, I have a request for you. Please comment out the topic you want to learn. I'll make a video on it and it will be helpful for others also. And thanks for watching. Be brave. Jai Hind.